And this video is both a shout out and a thank you to Dale and Colleen Keslick, owners and operators of Nature at Live Adventure School in Barhead, Alberta, Canada. Dale reached out to me some time ago and said he would like to send a gift to me for all the things that I do on YouTube in growing and promoting the bushcraft community. Apparently Dale watches my videos, which I'm very honored to have him say. And one of the things that he picked up on is a small cook set. Well, not the cook set itself, but the stove that I have shown. And I named it the Lixada Tower Stove. And you may recall that. If not, you'll find links to that video at the end of this video. And Dale so liked that stove that he decided to purchase that stove along with a cook set as something that he could offer to students coming to his schools or to anybody else who are interested in purchasing it. So Dale offered to send one out to me as a gift only, nothing else expected in return, but what do you do with a gift like this? You have to say thank you. So what I will do is I'll open this up and share it with you. I won't be doing a review on this so much as, well, I have that other video that shows how the stove operates, but I just want to show you what this kit contains. And of course, I'll provide links, not only to the video that I've made, but to Dale's YouTube channel and to his school so that you can find out more about it. So so basically what we have is a complete self-contained cook set and inside the first stuff sack is the pot set. So the pot is a stainless steel uh, pot with fold out butterfly style handles and a lid that comes off that has a small handle on the side as well. So this could operate as a, well, quite a small four inch fry pan, more likely as a mug or a serving bowl if you wanted to use it like that. But obviously its intent is to be used as a lid for the cook set. And I'll give you some close ups of the pot set in a minute's time. But inside of that is another stuff sack. And this was designed to go directly with this pot. And this is that cook set or the sorry the stove as we talked about earlier just taking out some of the components so I can set it up just that quickly so you have seen me operate this in a number of videos and uh, it's just a good effective little stainless steel stove that's very inexpensive to buy. What Dale did do, he had, and I'll hopefully this will show up in camera when I bring it up, he had their school logo imprinted on the stove as well as the pot. And uh, yeah, so one of the, the other thing that came along with this cook set is a little stainless steel eating set. So this is quite nice. I'm not sure I'd use all the components of this, but two pieces of this I definitely would. So what is inside is one of the folding spoons. You've seen those before, I'm sure. Very handy, very compact, stainless steel. A fork to match. And a small knife, utility knife, that would work for, well, cut whatever you need to. Not razor sharp, but uh, it would save your edge of your good bushcraft knife if you're using it for cutting up meat in a pan or anything. Okay, what I'll do is I'll just bring in the cook set and the pot a little bit closer, just for a little bit more detail, because I want to talk only for another minute or two about Dale's school. All right, a few close-ups of the cook set. So it is a very basic stainless steel uh, cook, cook set with the grab handles on the side, the lid, as I mentioned a minute ago, on top. Uh, what is nice about this is that it has a built-in pour spout on the side which makes trust me really does make it a lot easier to pour from than rather than a rounded side and it also has graduations both in metric and imperial down the side so you can see how far uh, how much water you've got in it which is great for measured meals like the typical freeze-dried trail meals and uh, yeah there is the hopefully I can bring this in not sure if it's going to show up there, I know my lighting isn't the best here, but there is the logo for the Nature Alive, and of course the stove. And you've seen this stove before, as I mentioned, I've used one a number of times, an effective little stove for sure. All right, let's just talk about Dale's school for a moment. So as I mentioned a minute ago, Dale and Colleen Kislik own and operate the Nature at Live Adventure School in Burhead, Alberta, Canada. And Dale and Colleen took their original training and later became instructors for the late 
great Canadian icon of bushcraft, Morris Kahansky. And if you know who Morris Kahansky is, then you know the impact he has had on bushcraft worldwide. So their school is very much in the same instructional style and the same instructional materials. So this is a place that I've always wanted to go to, quite honestly. When I first started uh, chatting with Dale online and Dale was offering courses, I thought, this is one of those bucket list places I just have to get to at some time. And Dale, when you get to watch this video, video I still want to do this. Uh, we'll just see how it works out, I guess. But I'm, it, it is my hope to get out and take courses and training uh, from Dale out in Alberta. So I guess point of this is that if you are looking for a bushcraft school to go to and you're in Canada or anywhere in, in the geographic area or can make your way to Alberta, Canada, then this is the place you really want to set your sights on. So I, again, as I mentioned, I'll put all the information to Dale's school and to Dale's YouTube channel because there are some fun videos on that ch channel I'm sure you would enjoy. Not only fun but very instructive as well. So I, as I mentioned I'll have all that information in the video description below and I encourage you to look it up and if you again if you have the opportunity and you can get there then by all means do so. So once again another thank you to Dale and Colleen and until next time folks get out and explore and take that path less travel because it will make all the difference. Bye for now.